Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna do a new Project Pan intro. This is Mission 100% Cruelty Free Project Pan, started by Sarah. I always get the last name wrong, Sarah. I'm sorry, Saparini. I'm pretty sure she's on um, YouTube, Instagram, all that good thing, all those good things. I will leave her link down below. But she kind of brought this idea to us during the graveyard project pan, and she was like, "Hey, anybody interested? Please let me know, and you know we can go over here and talk about it." So you guys know that I am not a cruelty-free YouTuber. I do talk a, a lot about different brands and different items and everything from all categories so I don't have that knowledge base. Personally, I did do a report on makeup testing and stuff when I was in high school, middle school maybe, I'm pretty sure high school though I did a report on it and it's really, really horrible. It's, um, it's unimaginable, unthinkable. I just can't believe that people still do it. Like there's so many brands like e.l.f. that can sit, that can give you a foundation for six dollars that's fantastic and still not test on animals i just i don't get where the disconnect is so this project pan is all about going cruelty free for a lot of the youtubers involved me personally i wanted to get involved in this project pan to gain more knowledge about cruelty free brands and brands that are not cruelty free so all the makeup items, skincare, hair care, anything that we are panning is going to be all non-cruelty free items so that the people in this project pan can become cruelty free hopefully by the end. Sarah I think said that she was <laughs> probably going to take over a year to be able to finish this. I actually pulled out a ton of different items in my collection and like I said, I didn't know what's cruelty free and what's not. Some of the brands I do know, um, but most of them I did not. And I got this huge bin and I went through the bin. I went through Logical Harmony. That's where I got all my information from. And I picked everything out that was not cruelty free and I put it in this bin so I will show you. So these are all of my non cruelty free items. Uh, the one brand that I'm having a hard time figuring out is Sephora brand. Is that non cruelty free? If there's anything that I bring up in this that is a cruelty free brand, please feel free to let me know down below. Like I said, I'm very new at this and I'm just trying to gain more knowledge for myself personally and for all of my viewers because I think cruelty free is going to be the way that the world goes as well as being vegan. I think that is definitely the direction of the world and you know, I had to support my kitty cat so I'm wearing my kitty cat hoodie again. Well, it's a sweater technically. Anyways, so because I had so many items that I want to pan, hopefully by the end of the year, I put them in here and I'm going to kind of do it a roulette style. So I'm just going to kind of draw randomly and that's the product I'm going to use until it is completed. So we didn't talk about like updates, but I'm going to plan on updating every single month on the 6th, hopefully. I can actually make that happen, <laughs> but um, basically what we're doing is a five rolling project pan style, and like I said, I'm doing a roulette, but other people might be just picking things out of their collection. Could be full size, it could be sa sample sizes, it could be anything. I chose to go through a bunch of my sample sizes, so that's what you guys are going to see with me, because those things I can actually make it a rolling project and roll new things in. So that is the plan. And I'm going to just get started so I can show you guys where I'm at and then we will update in a month. So here we go. Okay, I do kind of know what's in here because I just recently picked up things out. But here's number one. Number two. Number three. I think those are two. Number four, I want to get like skincare and hair care or and makeup. That's what I meant to say. Five. Are these two moisturizers? Okay, I have two moisturizers, so I'm going to put the second one I picked back. Okay, did not look, but this is a serum. I can work with a serum and a moisturizer. And also, I got two <laughs> sunblocks, so I'm going to put the second one that I drew back as well. Okay, I'm just going to draw the easy thing in here. And I know what I know what this is, so <laughs> we're just gonna go with that. So these are the five items that I am starting with, and 
let's see what I got. So this is from Esfolio. This is the Pumpkin Rejuvenate Soothing Glow Rejuvenate Mask with Real Pumpkin. I could not find if Esfolio was a cruelty-free brand. It is made in Korea, so it is a Korean brand, so I was not able to find that on Logical Harmony, which is why this is in here. There are eight others of these specific masks in this, so I figured I figured that would be a good one to try. My neighbor is doing some stuff, so you're going to hear my dogs, too. Okay, and then we have the... What is happening over there? Okay, and then we have the Peter Thomas Roth, which I also could not find if it was cruelty-free or not. This is the Max Shear All Day Moisture Defense Lotion Sunscreen, and it has... I don't know what... S Woo! I don't know what SPF it has in here... I'm not exactly sure it doesn't say what SPF it has, but I got this from a Sephora kit. So I know sunscreen it does go bad more quickly than other things, so want to use that one up. Like I said, if any of these brands are cruelty free, please let me know down below because I don't know. I'm just working with what I got. So then I have the Caudalie Vino Perfect uh, Radiance Serum, and this is for all skin types. I do enjoy using serums, especially Radiance Serum, so this is completely full. This is a sample size. Then I have a Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. I have been getting into using my li liquid liners lately, so this is just a little sample guy, and... It is a felt tip liner and it is not dried out, so we should be good to go on that one. And the very last item that I have, and this was the first one that I drew, is the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce Anti-Aging uh, Clinically Advanced Miraculous Moisturizer. So I know that, gosh, what is her name? Kaylee, Kaylee and her boyfriend. I don't know, I can't remember her name, but she talks about this all the time and she says it's really, really good. So I've had this sample for a little while now. It does look really nice actually, but um, I'm excited to try this and see how this works for me. So anyways, those are the five non-cruelty-free items that I am going to be starting with. I have... I will count at the very end and tell you how many I have in this bin, but I'm just going to do this project until this bin is over. It'll probably take me a little more than the end of the year, but that is my plan is to go through this whole bin and get everything completely used up and enjoy everything that I have and maybe find some new favorites or maybe decide that, you know, that's a brand that I don't need to work with anymore. Not work with, but like purchase and, you know, don't need to buy that because it's non-cruelty free anyway. So. Anyways, I hope you guys all go and check out all the other lovely ladies involved in this project. I will leave a playlist down below or like links to their channel if I can fit everyone. But once again, the updates are going to be going on on the 6th of every month and I plan to update every month. Now, if I finish something like the mask, then I might just grab something and show you what I'm grabbing so that when I do updates, I can still have my five products. So... We'll see how that goes. I might get a little too involved in other projects that I've decided to add into, but we're going to go from there. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you will have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next